What's up guys? Today we're going to be filming a video on how to culture blackworms. Blackworms are a great food for medium to small fish. As you can see right there, that's about how big they are. For comparison, this is my finger. That's a good comparison. So the first step is to fill up a tub, a shallow tub, with about three to four inches of water, as you can see. The next step is you gotta take some of this cheap play sand. As you can see, it's very fine. Go ahead and cover the whole bottom of it with about an inch of the sand. And there goes all of our visibility. How much is an inch? Um, that's about an inch, I'd say. As you can see, there's about an inch of sand in here. That's about how much you need. Look at that, guys. There's a little albino pleco fry. Then, like most microorganisms or any fish in general, they like it a little warmer, so add a heat. Okay, guys, the next step is to, we got, you gotta add a sponge filter or some sort of filter. Preferably a sponge so it doesn't suck up the worms. Okay guys, now you gotta fill it up with water again because the water got murky and we're trying to keep it kind of clear. <laughs> That's not on the side, bro. It's good enough, bro. I'm gonna rinse out all that foam. We're also getting a little gift from Carter. Sneak peek for the next video. So in here you can see, again, about three, four inches of water. It's really murky right now because of the place hand, but it'll clear up quick. Again. So the next part of this is we're going to take this, which is filled with a few pipettes or turkey basters full of black worms, and we're just going to dump it in there. There, look, guys, right there. That's what black worms look like. Bottom left too. There's a bunch everywhere. Not all the way down there, but like right. That's right a better right video. What they look like? There's three right there. Four up there. They're great, Five, super six. nutritious food for your fish. Guys, and just like that, you have a colony of blackworms breeding in a tub in your closet. It is that easy. Nope. <laughs> like he's saying, these guys will not eat bloodworms. They suck at eating these cribs, but they love these blackworms, and they're super good for them. As you can see back there, they don't really eat at all. So if you need food for picky fish, this is a great live food. Okay, so Carter took this video for me. The next day, as you can see, the water pretty much completely cleared up. And he put Java moss because blackworms really like plants. They also, he put the the pink rocks to help them because they need to break apart somehow. So that's how they can break apart and that's how they multiply. They don't actually breathe. They just cut themselves in half and then there's two blackworms. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped and have a great day.